you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries january 2nd saturday let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to st john chapter 1 verses 19 to 28 this is the testimony given by john when the jews sent priests and levites from jerusalem to ask him who are you he confessed and did not deny it but confessed i am not the messiah and they asked him what then are you elijah he said i am not are you the prophet he answered no then they said to him who are you let's have an answer for those who sent us what do you say about yourself he said i am the voice of one crying out in the wilderness make straight the way of the lord as the prophet isaiah said now they had been sent from the pharisees they asked him why then are you baptizing if you are neither the messiah nor elijah nor the prophet john answered them i baptize with the water among you stands one whom you do not know the one who is coming after me i am not worthy to untie the thong of his sandal this took place in bethany across the jordan where john was baptizing the gospel of the lord praise you lord jesus christ dear friends the next few days i have readings on the john the baptist this lead up this sunday feast of the epiphany which celebrates the manifestation of jesus to the world tradition has linked several similar events to epiphany although the first one is the coming of the magi to bethlehem christ baptism in the jordan is also like a key movement of revelation of epiphany of jesus mission and the divinity thus although the baptism of the lord has its one feast today a week after epiphany the two events have a common result they may make known the truth of jesus the first question we need to ask ourselves is what i am i a believer in christ doing to make the truth of jesus known to others the power of humility in this reading john the baptist demonstrates the attitude fundamental to making christ known humility john the baptist had the chance to be considered the messiah the christ true eventually the deception would become known but for a while he would have had of all of israel at his feet all too often today people given give in to temptation and compromise their principles to get glory and power for the day think of businessmen who inflate their company's profits or scientists who fake their results the inevitable downfall is tragic since john the baptist knows that the only way he can serve god and fulfill his mission in life is to direct all glory to god and none of him himself never presuming to be more than he is we too uh, can live as a true christians and make jesus present to others only if we put aside our own pride and the vanity lord when i look at myself and my life i see that uh, too often i have been selfish focus on what i enjoyed on what i want help me to love you more above all things help me want to make you known by living love even at the cost of my pride and the comfort i will make an effort extra for today to show through my actions what it means love christ and one to one another amen may god bless us